So we have a available, we have a custom ROM available, which is based on Android 15. And it brings you actually almost everything what you actually need in your device. I'm talking about Genesis OS, which is based on Android 15. We have another new update, which is now having the November security patch. So last time when I made video on this in this for this custom ROM, basically, there were some features introduced, but with this new update, we have some more very useful ones. For example, if you take a look at the more security and privacy options, you will find the hiding the developer options or status or hiding developer status option is now present in this case. So for example, if any app is detecting the app, I mean the app is detecting that developer options are enabled, USB debugging is enabled, you can simply hide it and that's a very useful thing. Also ignore window secure flags, which is one of the main highlights, one of the very useful features, it's also there. Because it's based on Android 15, so private space as expectedly, it's already here. If you use it on a device, then don't worry, it is available in this case and you can use it on a device. In my personal case, I always use private space in my primary device. For example, I'm using Google Pixel 8 Pro and private space is a must have feature, should be available in every custom room from now on. Another thing which is quite underrated that is in-call vibration options and these are finally added back. In my personal opinion, I 99% of the times I use this feature, I need this thing. It's a very underrated option, underrated feature, but it should be included, it is here. Another thing is advanced restart is also there. Previously, when I made video on this custom room update, the advanced restart option was not there. It was regarding and actually it is a very useful thing. You need to boot into custom recovery. You, you need to boot into fast boot mode to flash your device to do anything else you want to do. Very, very useful thing. Another thing is available in the notification section at the bottom you have this option named as sender heads up and this is basically or you can say less boring heads up feature so you might get the notifications or heads up notifications for calls, messages, alarms etc. Not for other apps like telegram, whatsapp or any other app too. In network and internet, you will find some private DNS options already included. I always use AdGuard DNS to block ads and we have a lot of other options available. But in my case, I use AdGuard, but we have Cloudflare, OpenDNS and also some of the other options are available for you. So these are already integrated. You don't need to do these kind of things manually. Another thing is what you will find, like usually with Android 15, if you have ever used it by taking a screenshot, you will see share and edit option. But in this case, we have the delete option also present. Also with normally official Android 15, we have those icons, not this text. As you can see, we have some labels. The text is also present in this case. So yeah, this could be a very useful thing for you. Also Google Photos unlimited backup, which is a must have feature right now for most of the custom rooms. Yes, without a doubt, it's also present. It is working fine. It is absolutely fine. I, by the way, I don't think so. You have the option to turn it off, but why is so needed? You need to use Google Photos unlimited backup, especially if you are a custom room user, you need this thing. Talking about circle to search, yes, this is actually uh, useful for some of the users. For me personally, it is not that useful, but it's included. So just wanted to let you know, holding down a home button, you will see circle to search will be introduced. One thing keep in mind, you have to update your Google app to the latest version to make it work because some users after installing the custom room straight away try this and it doesn't work for you because you did not update your Google app. You have to update all the pre-installed apps to properly work your device, properly use the apps which are available in your device. And this is very useful. One thing which I found in this one is the volume panel. In Android 15, there's a new volume panel introduced, but with this one, we have different one. We have this normal one, which is already present with Android 14. Some of the UI changes you can say, and you can also place it on the left side in case you want to. There's an option available in the settings app. I don't use this thing much, although volume panel in the default Android 15, in my personal opinion, is good enough, but that's completely fine. This is, it is also not looking bad at all. So yes, if you want to try it out on a device, it's available for few of the devices officially for few of the devices, it might be available unofficially. So you can check this out and these were the things just wanted to let you know. Hope you like this video. If you like this, don't forget to like and share and I will see you in the next one. Until then, take care and make sure to subscribe the channel.